Dr. Harvey, today I'll be discussing the wonderful uh, technique of tumescent anesthesia. This was first described by Dr. Jeff Klein in the 1970s. It uses large uh, volumes of local anesthesia, but these can be used safely because up to 55 milligram per kilogram is the maximum dose. The uses in derm surgery are multiple and include large flaps, particularly on the scalp, liposuction, hair transplants, varicose vein treatments, and also for face and neck lifting. Here's a depiction of tumescent anesthesia being infiltrated into the subcutaneous fat. When we do the procedure, we usually make these X's where uh, the X's have a bleb of local anesthetic. Um, we kind of place these selectively. We can control the depth of anesthesia based on how we pinch or let up with our non-dominant hand. And then when we place the uh, um, needle or cannula to infiltrate, we usually go at a moderate setting and we use a piston-like motion um, going really slowly at first. You know, warming the solution using bicarb really helps with pain. And around sensitive areas like the umbilicus, uh, sometimes we'll even do a little tumescent ring block. You know, if there's a more sensitive area, you might want to do that first. Uh, that really helps out quite a bit. We usually go quadrant to quadrant in this case. You know, we're typically monitoring the patient with blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and an EKG, usually a nurse anesthetist or my RN is helping me with that part. Um, and I want that patient feedback because I want to make sure they're uh, comfortable and, um, and, and safe. Um, again, here you see me going a little deeper uh, because I'm pinching up, uh, but I can relax that and, uh, and let it uh, kind of infiltrate more superficially as well. Uh, the use of massage is also very helpful to distribute the anesthetic. Um, this technique is wonderful for other areas besides the abdomen. We use it for scalp flaps, um, thermi RF, um, varicose vein treatments, um, lipoma removals, a lot of indications. Typically we can vary the concentration of the lidocaine in our tumescent. and again we have up to 55 milligram per kilogram to play with. So if I'm using this like on a typical gal uh, or guy who's thinner, we might use a 0.15% concentration and giving anywhere from 500 ml to 1000 ml. Um, at our end point we're looking for skin blanching and a peau d'orange like look like an orange peel and that um, should allow us to have adequate anesthesia. This is a great uh, technique to learn. I recommend all derm surgeons learn this. You know, do a few with uh, a preceptor and uh, start off on healthy patients. Again, a great technique with these wonderful benefits. Thank you.